Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Janice. Today's collaboration is called Apple of My Pies and I will tell you a little bit more about that a little bit later. So the video is going to be based all about fall apples and pies. So the first one I decided to do a apple sack. I took two pieces of the drop cloth and I just simply cut them both. Now I'm just going to place them together with some hot glue. Very easy. Don't need to really measure anything. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be longer than wider. That's about it. So I'm just going to hot glue the bottom and the two sides, but the top part is going to be open. So now the sides are all glued together. I'm going to turn it inside out. Now on the top of the sack, I want to fold over and place a little glue underneath because I want it to look like an actual apple sack. So of course I have to put words on the sack because what, what is a sack without, you know, words? So I used my Cricut and created a stencil. So I'm going to place this right over the top and after I weed it and then place it on the drop cloth material. So the paint I'm going to be using is the Dollar Tree black chalkboard paint and I'm just going to use a brush and just dab it. Now I'm going to remove the stencil and the little pieces in between the words. I also created a apple stencil and I'm going to place that right on the side where the words are and I'm going to use, I think it's called Imperial Red Paint. Now I'm placing down the apple stencil and I'm going to start painting the stencil with, like I said, I think it's called Imperial Red. I do the same thing with the brush, I'm just going up and down motion. For the top of the apple, I'm going to be using this truffle color. Now I'm going to pull back the stencil. I think it looks really nice. I did have to touch it up just a tad bit with the top of the apple. Taking this polyfill and just placing some inside. Um, to make it a little fuller because I'm going to add some fake apples on top. So I'm going to be placing these apples on top. I glued a few to the top of the rim. A um, little bit out of frame, but I do put it back in frame. So just a second here and you'll see what I'm doing. So I want the apples to actually pop out. So I'm just placing some glue on the sides. This is going to keep it from falling inside. So I wanted to add some jute twine around the trim of it so I'm for like decoration. So I'm just going to hot glue some twine around the rim and then I'm going to hot glue it to the side. I did add a little bit of raffia in the end, just a few pieces. And this is really cute for fall.
So today's collaboration is called Apple on My Pies, and the host for today is Chris's Crafty Life, and the co-host is myself, Craftastics DIYs. The playlist will be linked in my description box below, so after watching my video, make sure you hop over and take a look at their videos as well. For this DIY, I wanted to make a fake apple pie, so I got these from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the air dry clay. So I'm going to roll out a piece that's going to fit right over the top, and I'm just going to use this little, <laughs> little uh, rolling pin. That's all I had. <laughs> um, it did the job. So I'm going to roll it um, pretty thin, and then I'm going to place it right over the top. Actually, I'm only making one. So now it's pretty thin. I'm going to place it over the top. It actually looks like real dough and um, pie dough. <laughs> There's ways you can make a fake pie. Either it be a pumpkin pie, apple pie, cherry pie, whatever type of pie. Um, so many ways and I've seen many, many on YouTube. But I decided to do this apple pie this way because I had the actual air dry clay and I thought it would be much easier and more realistic looking. So now I have everything nicely tucked in there. It looks just like a apple pie crossed. Now I'm just going to remove the edges. And this is going to be the piece that's called the lattice part because the apple pie is going to be like an apple pie with the lattice on top. And I'm just going to roll it out and then I'm going to cut strips and I'm going to place that right over the top. So I'm trying to make the inside um, apples look like apples. So I took these three colors and it took another strip of um, air dry clay and I rolled it out and I'm going to cut it and make it look like chunks of apples inside the pie. So I added a little bit of baking soda just to make it a little more thicker consistency and I'm going to throw some Mod Podge in there and combine all the colors. Now I'm cutting up the air dry clay and I'm going to throw it inside where the paint is, mix it all up. It obviously wasn't enough, so I had to add a lot more. Now I'm going to be taking the lettuce pieces that I cut out and I'm going to place them on top and put the first layer on top and then the second layer, kind of weaving it in and out underneath. So it's starting to form just like a little apple pie. I'm not sure if I showed it, but I did add some cinnamon um, to the fake apples inside and it has a, such a nice smell to it. I'm also going to add some cinnamon to the top. So while this dries, it's going to produce such a great fall smell, that cinnamon smell. Now I'm just going to take my um, little knife and I'm just going to cut around the edges and clean it up. So here I'm adding a little bit of brown, a touch of orange, and I'm going to add it to the apple pie. Make it look like it's, you know, burnt on top, you know, once it's baked. So I'm adding a little bit of Mod Podge with the paint so this way it spreads evenly. Now I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon on top. Um, that's going to give it that nice cinnamon smell when it dries. Also adding a little bit of uh, white glitter just to make it look like it's sugar on top. And look how nice it came out. Looks just like a real apple pie with a touch of nice cinnamon smell. Perfect for fall. Mm -hmm. 
Who is today's spotlight creator? Today's spotlight creator is Michelle from Michelle Unique Boutique. Congratulations, Michelle. Thank you for sending in your picture. I love the recreation of my black cat. It came out awesome. Thank you again. All right, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree truck and I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree apples. It's a cute little DIY, quick and easy. I'm going to use the Dollar Tree black chalkboard paint. And that's what I'm going to start painting the truck with after I take the tags off. So I'm only going to apply one quick coat because that's all it needed really. For the truck rack, I'm just going to use this nutmeg color. Now I'm going to take this little piece of cardboard that I cut out and just going to paint it with the black chalkboard paint that's going to be placed in the back where the, the apples will be placed on. Now I'm going to be painting these little apples red with the imperial red paint and then the tips of the apples are going to be the truffle brown color. Now I'm going to be placing down some vinyl words that I created on my Cricut. It says apples 25 cents. White paint just to paint inside the tire. Like a, one of those old antique type of trucks that has the white wall look to it. Now I'm going to take that piece of cardboard that I painted and I'm just going to place that right in the back of the truck. Now I'm just going to place the apples in the back of the truck using some hot glue. I added a little bit of raffia at the end. And that's it. This came out really super cute. You can actually add some tea lights underneath and I'll show you what it looks like and you know or not. And you can place it anywhere in your house and it's very adorable. All right, I'm going to be using these really pretty flowers I got from, they're eucalyptus actually, I got them from Walmart, and just some regular standard Dollar Tree floral, and I'm going to be using this embroidery hoop, it's, I believe I painted it black from a previous DIY, and the Dollar Tree ribbon, this comes out so pretty, and these little apples, I'm not sure where I got these, I've had them forever, um, but I know a lot of like the stores still carry those fake apples like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, etc. using some floral wire to wrap the floral together and I just actually put them together the way I like them kind of like bent the uh, wire part of it so it's going to angle around the embroidery hoop so now I'm just going to get a piece of the wire and I'm going to grab the flowers and just bunch them together and wrap the wire around it and wrap it around the hoop just using the floral wire to wrap the flowers onto the embroidery hoop. I find this very easy to do versus using the or the hot glue because it's messy and this is much easier and cleaner. And I want to make a bow so I'm going to take this Dollar Tree wired ribbon and I'm just going to make a bow and place it right in the middle. the floral wire to wrap the ribbon in the middle. So now to place the bow down on the embroidery hoop, I'm just going to use the um, hot glue. Now I'm placing down the apples 
on the embroidery hoop with some hot glue. Um, I do change it at the end. I didn't like the way they were scattered. I kind of like grouped them in the middle where the bow is. And in the end, I do think it comes out very pretty. Now I'm taking one of Dollar Tree's um, small little ribbon and I'm just gonna place it at the top so I can hang it. And that is it. Very quick and easy, very simple to make. Um, and I think it's very pretty for fall. Now I'm just ducktailing the ends. Very pretty to hang on your front door. Okay, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree two little uh, tags and they were previously painted so they're fine the way they are. And I'm going to use this Hobby Lobby craft paper. I'm just going to place the tag in the back, trace it, and cut it out. To place the craft paper down, I'm just going to use the glue stick. Now I'm going to be using the other tag and I'm going to take some washi tape because I'm going to create some vertical lines and one horizontal line. So I'm going to place the washi tape at the bottom, two pieces, and create a little line using the black imperial red paint mixed together. Now I'm going to pull off the washi tape and then I'm going to apply it right back on because I'm going to make a little thicker line. Now I'm placing the washi tape right above the other line and creating another one at the top and apply the paint right in the middle. This is going to be a little thicker line. Now I'm going to take the washi tape off. Now I'm going to create a vertical line. So the Impero Red and the black chalkboard paint came up like a burgundy type color. It looks pretty. So now I use my Cricut and I'm going to place the vinyl down on the tag. I think this came out really cute. It says, the cutest apple in the orchard. Now I'm going to be using this white string that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to connect them both with the string. So I want to attach the two boards together so I'm just going to hot glue them together. So I'm just going to make a simple bow using Dollar Tree ribbon and it's going to hot glue it right to the top. So now I'm just going to tie off the string at the top so this way I can hang it. And I think this came out super, super adorable. I added a little tiny apple button that I got from Hobby Lobby and I think it looks so stinking cute. Last DIY, we're going to make an apple cider sign by using this printout that I actually copied on the internet and I'm going to use this graphite paper. This is going to be for those who do not have a cutting machine. 
I'm also going to use a Dollar Tree sign and I'm just going to use the back of it. I'm going to take this Territorial Beige Antique White and another white and mix it together and start painting the Dollar Tree sign. Now the sign's dry, I'm just going to place the graphite paper right over the top and then place the uh, paper that I actually traced right over the top with a little bit of tape. Place it over the top with a little tool that I got from Dollar Tree and that's basically it. And then once I remove the graphite paper, I will show you what it looks like. So now I'm going to start painting. I'm going to use this red imperial paint with a little tiny paintbrush. This is very tedious, so if you do this, I recommend getting some really nice paint markers um, to make your life a lot easier. Um, I was really struggling with it, but I did manage to get it through. I needed to find a tinier paintbrush. So you can see that I finished the cider part and it looks really nice, but so I'm doing the apple part and then the remaining part I'm going to use my black marker. So now I'm going to use the black marker and finish off the sign. I don't want to bore you too much with the painting, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. It did take me over an hour to do this, so I'm going to show you the end results. So I decided not to use the paint sticks after all. I'm just going to use this. I pulled it off another Dollar Tree sign and just painted it black. Now I'm just going to place it down with some hot glue. So you see I have uh, some spots on the sign. I don't know what happened to the footage, but I just took a little bit of antique wax and just smudged it around the sign to make it look like it's old. Now I took these hooks off another Dollar Tree um, little sign and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back of the sign. So now the hooks are attached. I grabbed these little tiny cups that I got from Hobby Lobby at clearance for 50% off. They're so cute. They have other colors too. So I thought it would be a great idea just to hang them on the hooks, um, you know, apple cider. I think the sign really came out so cute and I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite DIY today. Well, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me today and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. Also don't forget to take a look at the playlist in my description box below. Till next time guys I will see you. Bye bye.